your tax system uh, or taxation is like pricing. It's a signaling mechanism. If the price is too high, the person will say, hey, I'm not yeah. going to purchase. If the tax is too high, people might say, hey, I'm not going to invest in this sector. Or, you know what, I have to find a way to avoid the tax. Or the gov if you put a tax on, people might say, well, you know, it's the government is signaling that they don't want you to go into that sector. So you have to be very careful in putting together a tax package that you don't send the wrong signal. So to you the wouldn't economy. touch tourism? Well, that's not what I'm saying. I've been very clear that I believe the tourism sector should bear some burden, in fact, more than they are bearing. But the way in which it was done and the amount of taxes placed on it would send a wrong signal to investors. I'm sure that there are many investments in the pipeline that people are now calculating what will be the impact on this new, th this new taxation on my profit levels. And many of these investments are sensitive already because they're, they're very close to the profit line. So uh, any change might put them under the profit line, make the investment uh, um, unfeasible. So the, the, the point I'm making is that you should put some more taxes on the tourism industry. But what has gone on now is too much. I think two sectors can reasonably complain that they've been overtaxed. Sector? Well, I wouldn't touch the banking sector. I wouldn't say that for the banking sector, but I'd certainly say that for telecommunications. Okay, so and the, three, the three you said? Well, the other one was yeah. a simple one tax on books. We have gone through that already. The country yeah. has gone through that already and the answer is no. And agriculture. We have to be very careful.